Um. Okay, I was checking my YouTube inbox off screen of this episode before I did this one. And. Like, I don't know, I was just like looking at it. I got like one of my comments I sent, like my replies, was in my inbox for some reason. I was like, what the hell? So I clicked it to make sure, like, look at what was going on. Like, why it was saying that. Like, some guy was maybe, like, faking my account or something. Like, putting, like, one I and L or whatever. And what I noticed was... This is freaking hilarious. Um... <laughs> the stupid comments I corrected was something I posted, like, a month ago. And I just realized it at the last second. And... I literally held a logical argument with myself. YouTube people, you can't just hold logical arguments. You can't hold argue. You gotta hold an argument with everyone, including yourself. It's just it's YouTube, you know. Also, mm, honey bear, he's after Grunty's golden honey piece. Sting him, Zubbas. These guys are awesome. Hard. Zrr, he's beating us. Oh well. We were getting bored of guarding anyway. I was trying to predict what he would say, and I kind of regret it, as I said, but I was predicting. Also, this is the sprites for the honeycombs in the sequel. Because they were changed, everything was changed in the sequel to look more realistic. And everything came, everything comes in a nest in the sequel. It's one of the major differences, and that was carried over to all the other games, obviously. And the nests would carry multiple eggs or whatever. Just a little banjo tooie trivia for anyone who's ever played it. Yeah, nests, they're a lot like, they're, they're, I like the nests, and they were carried over to the Game Boy. Well, not crappy, but not as good Game Boy game. That's what I refer to it as. I don't refer to Grunty's Revenge as crappy. I refer to it as not as good, because it was really one of my favorite Game Boy games. A little corner of wood there. And it has a jiggy on it. What? Oh. Flying flippity flab! Yeah, uh, ground pounding seems to make it a new jump for some reason. That's weird. Oh shit, tits! Oh shit, tits! Oh shit, tits! Oh shit, tits! Ladies and gentlemen, oh shit, tits! Only one way to do this, stop killing myself. That was kind of a waste of a gold feather, but I had to. Or I would have died. Dad, I said, oh, come on. I wasted that much health, really? I'm gonna go around in a big circle. Circles, ladies and gentlemen! This is the hardest level of the game, though. Like, even Rare is aware of how hard this level is. I think, I actually had heard rumors this is planned to go before Rusty Bucket Bay at first. But, Rare had realized this is a really fucking hard level. I mean, I, I think Rusty Bucket Bay is a lot harder, though. I mean, this isn't that bad of a level. Oopsies. There's some health, though. So I'll be fine. 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 Fine, it'll be fine, fine, fine. Don't chase me, don't chase me, don't chase me. Don't eat my face. Ouch. 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 Really? Did I really just say ouch? Didn't even hurt? Didn't feel a thing? Character didn't feel a thing? First thing I say is ouch. Ladies and gentlemen. Seven asses. 
takes two feathers to do that, I discovered. Pretty good. Some people take three. But uh, now we can get up safely, because I don't have to worry about the, uh... Ooh, health. And now I'm at full health again. That is nice. That is noise. Shit tits, I feel like this level is one of the hardest honeycombs in the game to get. Not really hardest, it's just like the trickiest to get to. But it doesn't hurt you or anything if you mess up. I don't, well, obviously it will hurt you if you really mess it up because it involves the beak bomb. But, uh, it's in winter, there's no window, it's like really high up. Remember when I said summer is the quickest moving season in the game? It's if you don't suck. Oh, they hit me. That was how you waste 100 gold feathers, ladies and gentlemen. It's not 100, but... It's not like 100 gold feathers. 10. 10! Well, we screwed ourselves over. That's nice. You need a lot of gold feathers to do, uh... Fall, because there's fucking, uh... Musical notes in it, and you need those. Just take that. Just take pain in your face. Like a giant cookie. Dipped in chocolate milk. I'm just gonna go in here. Whoa. I'm not eating too many acorns. I've got none left for next winter now. Good. Good. Now, when I first played this game, I was convinced like you could like like do like a bogey thing over again and like hit him or something. It doesn't do jack shit. You can do whatever you want to him, it doesn't work. So uh just not worry about that. Let's just move on. Honestly, I think I just went in that room or not. Where are you? What's your little worm? There you go. Nom. Yummy. Juicy caterpillar. Nice. It's a worms, though. That's a thing. Is this like a thing in England? Is this like how the. It's like, like, like slang. Like English. English. England, English. Burp. Evie is full now. Need you more sleep. Why don't I just call him Evie? Ladies and gentlemen. That's his new name. Anyways, um... Uh, what was I saying? Anyways, um, is that like a thing in Britain or something? This is a British game. Do they, like, refer to caterpillars as worms and worms as caterpillars? Because I've noticed that happens a lot in, like, British movies and shit. Uh, is there any point? There's no point behind this room, is there? This is the same room we've already been in. I'm actually pretty sure if you kill all the enemies or something, it would probably just, like, respawn. Going back down is hard. This is hard. This is really hard. Like, it isn't hard to get down. But, uh... Like, it's just the fact that I can't just jump in the water like I normally do. And there's nothing to jump on anyway. There should be some kind of shortcut down. I'm just saying. Holy crap, that scares the shit out of you. Stop glitching, game. Um, nope, no way down. Oh my god. Whoa, this glitching is making me like dizzy as heck. This is like the glitchy, this is the dizziest freaking glitching in. Oh my god. That is crazy. It's also making my computer spaz out. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this game is freaking glitchy. We're going against a big game, though, so I'm not going to argue. It's a really big N64 game. Those are two things don't usually go together very well. No point. I honestly thought like I could like jump off there, and I was like, no, no, no. I think it's safe to just go down. Yeah, let's just get out of this season. Time to go too far. And get some gold feathers in the process, because I freaking wasted them all. I'm a dumbass. Now, you guys have probably noticed this level hasn't gotten really that hard yet. I mean, it's just mostly walking around. But real soon, it's going to be a really hard level. Because not fall. Fall's pretty decent. It's when you start playing it on uh, winter. That is when the game starts picking up because you start slipping and sliding. It's like we need the big city slider station. I'm always going to say it. Here we need a blah 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 blah. Ten caterpillars. That was some pretty accurate reading right there. Now one gold feather. Can I do it? Okay, that was close. I regret not adding the gold feathers cheek to can't. I want to leave a level. Oh, these stacks of leaves have stuff on them. Also, getting the worms, caterpillars, whatever they are, is absolutely no challenge. That's what the point saying that. A level that focuses around gold feathers just for once. Just for this one level, since it's the hardest one. I please have a nice supply of gold feathers. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh no. I just wasted my last gold feather. Oh shit. Oh tits. What you got up here? Oh, nab nut, not nab nut, but uh. Nab nut's a squirrel. This is. naughty. Oh, here are here at last. I've been waiting for you. Did you do this, whatever? I don't know. He's got a jiggy for us, though. That's all that matters. So he hasn't resembled the enemy from Donkey Kong 64 that much, I guess. Actually, he actually does it. isn't exact naughty from the SNES ones, to be honest. This is why I wonder why they haven't used the original Super Nintendo naughty design for Donkey Kong 64. The gray naughty made a lot more sense than the blue one. Or the yellow one they put in the last second for bonus missions. Oh no. We're out of gold feathers and that needs to be done. Hopefully I can find something and come back. This is something I have to do. Got it here. It's a worm. I don't care what whatever you have to say. You can. So, and this here is another thing with Gobi. And he will appear one more time in the series. As far as I can think of. Besides a car called the Gobi and um, nuts and bolts, but no one really likes nuts and bolts, so. Right, that's it. I'm off to the lava world. You'll never find me there. Actually, I was thinking, considering stop and swap, they were probably planning on items in the second game that involved this game. That would be freaking awesome. Like, I know people wouldn't have owned this game and this stuff, but that's probably why I never did things like that. Unless, like, bonus items, you would never really have to play the first game to get shit. And I'll be honest, playing the first game to get things was never really implemented until like Lego Star Wars, maybe? Lego Star Wars and Lego Star Wars 2? It was one of the earliest I can think of implementing it, at least. I mean, I know, uh. A couple games implemented that. Actually, hey. I wonder if I can. One 
freaking musical note missed. Okay. I will get it in a sec here. As soon as I have enough gold feathers, I will go and just go crazy on them guys. And just get musical notes like crazy. Actually, I think it's bad. There aren't supposed to be bees and ouch. Do this. Come here. Come here. We're gonna make you. Oh, if you want to throw them, okay. If you're really fucking fast, you get out. Run, okay. Come here. Oh, come on. Just one gold feather. All I want is a gold feather. My lord. Really that hard to program a few gold feathers in this level for me. Just this once, be nice to me, game, please. Uh, I'm almost... oh my God. Nothing to move about. <sighs> gold feathers are very scarce in this level. Mumbo busy, sweep many leaves. No magic today. This game. It sucks how one of the things I need to get is a musical note, not like a jiggy or anything. And I really don't want to have to, like, get my game shark out right now either. Yeah, all the way back around. This game is evil! I should at least be some kind of way to like a hundred of these. Gosh darn freaking gold feathers. Okay, I think we're safe. There's, there's no way I'm doing that. No way. Okay, I just have to, uh. I'll find some. Uh, I'll find some atop the tree. Because this game is not that. Well, oh, I better find tons atop this tree. Ouch. Close enough. You fucking didn't. Leave. Oh my gosh. You made me do it. Oh, rare. Those days where I want to, like, just go into Rare's headquarters with a baseball bat. And tell them, this is your main attack. In Conquer Alive and Reloaded. And then beat up some paper stacks. And walk away as if nothing happened. Thank you! No way I'm doing that. No freaking way. Also, those little tiny pads just like on the leaves, the little small ones. This is kind of cool. But, uh, go up that tree, Banjo. Go up that tree. What you got here? What you got, girl? You got a, a, a little caterpillar. You got a little caterpillar. And a bumbo talking. Mumbo talking. Mumbo talking, which I'm never gonna use again. I don't know why I'm grabbing all these. I guess they're just kind of a collection. I'm collecting mumbo tokens. See if I can get them all at some point. Don't care. Also, this thing's already broken for some reason. Just do that. One in. In a goo! Uh, nothing in here for you now, bear. We've all moved out. Let's talk about this musical notes and a caterpillar. Or worm, whatever you want to call it. I don't care what England or Britain or whatever to call themselves calls it. It's a fucking 
worm. Silkworm, to be honest. To be more precise, whatever you call it. That is a fucking silkworm. I don't want to have to do something off screen. I'm going to have to find something to do for like five minutes. So up here, up here, just come on, gold feathers. Fuck. Is it that hard just to lay a gold feather? And just out in the open. I mean, really. Also, extra lives have no point in this game. That's why they were removed in all the others. No point. Where is that fucking worm at? Around this back corner here. Okay. See you guys in the next one.